with Anurag and in this uh, video we will be talking about slice so uh, why do we need slice first of all uh, if we already have this concept of arrays in Golang so slice gives you a more convenient way and a more flexible way in Golang than uh, using arrays the reason is because they are uh, dynamic in size um, they are also provide a flexible view uh, into the array of elements so unlike the array, uh, as I already uh, told you, slices are not fixed in length and they are more commonly used than arrays in Golang. So let's have uh, a more detailed discussion on slices. Uh, let me move to my VS Code Editor first. So let's see how we can declare slices. So first one is how can we declare slices without an initialization. So the same way we can declare an uh, array, but in this case, we are not specifying what is exactly the length of this particular slices, right? So this is how you can uh, declare directly using uh, without initiali initialization. So the zero value of the slice will be actually equals to nil if you are not assigning any kind of values to it. And it has both length and capacity equals to zero. So length and capacity we will be uh, surely discuss, uh, discussing further in this uh, video. So, so the next part will be uh, how can we uh, declare the slice with initialization? So let's do it using the literals. So using the literals, you do not have to specify any kind of size. It will be dynamically allocated. So one, two, three, four, and five. So you can say it as S1, right? So uh, in this case, I'm actually commenting out this part. So this will intend to nil, right? Uh, Slice. So now let's talk about how can the slice is created in uh, various ways. So I will be showing you all the different kind of ways uh, in which you can create slices. First one will be uh, from the arrays. How can it be done using arrays first of all? So let's say an array. We have this uh, initialization where we have 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So if you want to uh, cut out any kind of slice from this particular array, you can do it easily using uh, this. So this will be uh, basically containing the index from one to, uh, in between one to four. So this will be containing two, three, and four. So these kind of values will be present when you will be, uh, when you try to cut out uh, any kind of values from an array. So the next one will be how you can create it using make function. So let's do it that also. So in this case, you can use S1 and you can use this make function to in order to create this slice of, uh, so this will be, so this make function is nothing but a kind of a built-in function uh, for initializing objects of kind slice map or channel. So the data structure will be initialized using this uh, uh, make function. So this basically uh, takes the, what kind of type of data structure you want to create as well as it also uh, takes the capacity of what capacity you want to create it. So this is how you can create it using make function. So let's move forward. So first of all, let me comment this part out. And in this case, we are uh, already uh, slicing up some of the elements from this particular array. So let's see the difference in here only. So fmt dot, uh, let's do a println. So fmt dot println. So if I'll print the, sorry, the length of array. So the length of array, okay. So we should print actually the length of this S in order to have this, yeah. And let's print the capacity also. So in this case, you can use capacity. So CAP is actually a built-in function to return the capacity. So you can use this particular built-in function to have this capacity of this uh, particular slice. So there are no issues in here. So let me print it first and then explain what exactly is happening. So the length of this particular uh, array will be, uh, sorry, the slice will be equals to uh, three. The reason is we have uh, three elements which is present in our slice. So for, so for the capacity, we are getting the um, value as four here. So as I already uh, discussed the uh, definition of capacity, the number of elements in the underlying array starting from the first element. So the first element uh, in our case will be from here. So we are slicing it from the here. So from, from two to five, 
we have the capacity as four, but we have only used the capacity uh, three in this case because we are slicing up three arrays. So as you can see in uh, in this one, whenever the capacity will be made, so whenever you will get to the maximum capacity uh, which you have extracted from the array, uh, the append. So if we let's say let's say in some case you want to append more elements in this particular slice, you can do it by using append, and it will return a new slice with some kind of larger capacity, right? So on the fifth iteration, so let's say you have used all the so you have utilized all the capacity of this particular slice and you want to have well, you want to add more elements so on the fourth or fifth iteration you will notice a larger capacity and a new pointer address uh, will be there so this so i have appended some of the elements uh, in our existing slice and let's see how the capacity uh, increases whenever we are already adding more and more number of elements in the existing capacity so the already existing capacity was 4 as we remember I have added three more elements. So we already had a th a three elements in our slice and I added three more elements which already exceeded our capacity. In this case, let's see what happens. So in this case, we can able to add more elements uh, into our slice and our capacity has been increased by uh, almost into two. So this is how uh, we are increasing the capacity of the slices and they are dynamically uh, resizing in their size. So let's move forward and discuss a, uh, an example in order to show all the operations uh, which can which we can perform on slices. So let me first of all uh, remove all of these and let's take an example here where we can uh, have this example of having uh, storing some kind of student information in uh, our slice right so let's say var students and this will be kind of a string right fmt dot uh, println so in order to show you what exactly is the initial value of this particular slice so initial student list right students so let's let's uh, start adding some of the students into our slice so add student to slice right so students equals to append and let's say alice and students equals to append bob and you can also append uh, more and more number of uh, elements in a single append or just like this charlie right so fmt dot print ln after add students students so let's display the name of uh, student list first of all right so display student list here and dot print ln we can see it as list of students and we can have this range based for loop because i want to have student students or you can see uh, okay i have to print uh, just one student at a time so range on student right fmt dot print ln uh, student so here uh, we are using range based for loop to iterate over the student uh, slice so that is bob and charlie we are printing uh, each and every student here right uh, what we can also do is we can perform some kind of remove operation in the slice so let's remove a student so student equals to remove student this will be a function where we can uh, choose uh, a student and we can remove it from this particular uh, uh, slice and after removal we can print the element which is present in here after remove 
helping a student it will be a student that is right so let let me quickly uh, complete this remove student function also so fun remove student this will be ex expecting a slice of string and a name to delete and it will also return a slice right uh, for the index and the value we will be ranging towards the slice and we'll check if the value is equals to the whatever the name we have provided we can uh, return append slice the from from exactly the uh, index we are going to take so let's return append slice mm. slice of i plus 1 So this should be like this so we are actually slicing out the element uh, which uh, which will be equals to this name and in the last we will we will be returning the slice correctly right so this is how we are uh, removing from the slice which is present for the student right in order to add more student you can uh, perform this append operation again and again to uh, up, uh, do the more operation on append so this is how we are exactly uh, performing append operation as well as a de deletion operation in the using the slices and i also showed you how it's dynamically uh, increasing and decreasing at the at the runtime so this is one of the best part of using slices in golang right so if you do a go and main dot go you will check that initially we have nothing in the student list so the capacity as well as the uh, length of the slice both were zero then we have added some students in here uh, which will be Alice and Alice, Bob and Charlie. The three students were getting added there. And after removing a student, which is Alice and Bob, uh, I have again printed the uh, slice and that contains Alice and Charlie. So this is how you have performed the operation here. So I have to talk about uh, more regarding slices and arrays. So uh, best practices to use and when to use slice and when to use array so, so let's move to our slide uh, slide so yeah so first of all let's talk about the difference between the array and the slice so definition wise uh, array have the fixed uh, collection of the elements as we already discussed there and the size of an array is a part of its type so you cannot able to uh, initialize an array without passing on the how much size it requires to create an array uh, whereas the slices are dynamically uh, in size also yeah, they are more flexible and do not have any kind of fixed size so you can uh, add more, as much as elements you want um, this will dynamically increase uh, its capacity so the length and capacity wise array has a fixed uh, length and cannot be changed after the declaration in capacity is always equals to the length in case of uh, array so that ca its capacity cannot go grow as you add more elements right uh, but in case of slice the length is dynamic and can be changed using the operator operations like append capacity is the maximum length the slice can grow without relocation so it can be greater than or equals to the length in this particular case uh, if you will be keep on up, uh, doing the append operation the slice uh, the, cap the capacity of this particular slice will be uh, doing dynamically so you won't fix uh, f face any kind of issues while adding some uh, elements uh, at the compile time in the slice right for the memory allocation part uh, array uh, allocated memory is fixed at compile time so you cannot able to change because you are specifying the uh, size of the array right for slice it's a reference to an underlying array S the slice itself is a uh, descriptor that contains a pointer to the array so basically this slice actually contains a pointer to the array uh, as we are changing the this slice the length of particular slice and the capacity of the slice so the capacity of a slice i already discussed uh, from the start to the whatever the length of the array will be the capacity the length of the slice will be whatever the data we have cut out from the array 
and the pointer where the slice has been pointing to. So the memory can be relocated dynamically as the slice grow. So we can uh, pass on as much as memory we needed for uh, slice to grow, right? The use cases will be uh, uh, when we have, we know that we have some fixed size collection at the compile time and it won't change. And it is useful for performance critical application uh, where you won't, you will be requiring some kind of fixed size memory allocation. Uh, so in order to, in order to, for a uh, high performance application, if you know you want uh, 10 or uh, 15 length array, you should not go with the slices. For slice, you this is used when the collection can vary. So size of collection will be varying and preferred in most of the cases uh, for flexibility and easy to use, right? So these are some of the differences between the using the array and slices, which you can uh, use in your real world examples. If you have any kind of doubt or uh, issues regarding the video, you can uh, please comment down in the comment section. I'll try to uh, answer your questions. Uh, and you can also check my previous videos regarding Go Basics. So thanks for watching.